Hi, I'm GED teacher Damon Tennant, and I want to wish you a happy 2016. In this video, I'm going to show you an example of me answering one of the questions of my online students. Currently, I am here on my website, www.mygedlive.com. And if you're serious about passing the GED test in 2016, the way that you can do it with me is joining my online GED course. I'm going to scroll down my web page here and show you how to do that. Here it lists some of the course offerings that I have, but the specific one I'm talking to you about today is my online GED course. That course is powerful for two key reasons. Number one, it's proven and tested and people are using it to pass the GED test every week all across America. It doesn't matter which state you reside in, the GED test is the same everywhere. The number two reason that my students are being so successful is I answer their questions directly in the course. So the benefit of my online GED course is it's proven, it's working for hundreds of students uh, every week, and then number two, uh, I answer your questions right in the course. So the number one thing that happens to GED students is they get stuck. But in my course, you don't because you can simply post your questions and your questions get answered directly in my course. I wish you the best in 2016. And now on to the example video. All right, Jessica, as promised, I was going to get back to you on this last question in the um, ratio and proportions test. So uh, here it says length AC is 75, length AE is 30. Which additional length is necessary in order to use a proportion to find the length of BC? Click on that length. So what we're going to do here, Jessica, is we're going to see this larger triangle here. Uh, let me just kind of. Uh, draw so that that whole length here AC we know that's 75 and then this whole length here AE is 30 so really I can pull that triangle off and that length would be 75 and then that length would be 30 then the question is which additional length <coughs> is necessary to know in order to find the length of uh, BC. So here's BC right here. Let me get a different color for emphasis. Uh, actually, it's not the color. In green. So BC here, um, we want to know what that is. And so the triangle here would be there. So let me pull that triangle off over here. So if you're trying to find BC by setting up a proportion, then the, what you're going to need to know is this, the height of the triangle, which is BD. And so that's why the correct answer would be putting a hot spot there. Now, why is that? Well, if you're going to set up a ratio uh, in proportion, you would say the height to the slope of the triangle, 30 to 75. And because it's similar, is equal to the height. And that's why you would need to know that. And the slope of the triangle, BC. So you would need to know that BD uh, length right here in order to find BC, the slope. Because remember, for the lesson, uh, the lesson taught that the this is height to slope. And so that would have to be height to slope. And that's why you would need to click on the hot spot on that particular question. Hope that helps. Thank you.